Hello and welcome to this short introduction to application settings for Service Manager. My name is Daniel and as a product specialist I'll be your guide to what are typically the most relevant Service Manager application settings. Application settings are located in Hornbill Administration in the context of the relevant application. In our case we'll find the Service Manager application settings in Home, Hornbill Service Manager and Application Settings. At first, the list of application settings can seem quite daunting. There are indeed a lot. However, we're going to show you a number of key phrases that you can search for in order to zero in on the most relevant application settings. This video will look at the following areas. Email auto-routing preferences, timeline visibility preferences, application notification preferences, closure category preferences, and also portal display preferences. Firstly, let's take a look at the email auto-routing preferences. Naturally, this will only be relevant to you if you're using the email auto-routing capability to automatically log or update requests from email. Using the filter located at the top left of the application settings list, you can type the following string, app.email.routing.rules, and this will return all the settings that are concerned with email auto-routing. The Timeline Visibility Preferences allow you to set a default visibility that relates to each of the different types of posts that can be made on a request. By simply typing the word visibility into the filter, this will show you all the Timeline Visibility Preferences. For each type of post, you're able to choose whether this should be visible to the customer in the self-service portal, or whether you wish to restrict this to the team supporting the request. Remember this is only a default visibility setting and it is possible to change the visibility of an existing post from the request view. Next we're going to look at the application notification preferences. Service Manager provides a number of event based notifications such as when a request is assigned to a team, when a request is cancelled or when an email update is applied to a request. These are just a small selection. It's possible to choose whether an individual or the team receives an email notification in these cases, or whether you just wish to restrict the notification to in-app notifications, or if you want to switch them off altogether. Typing the phrase notification type, or one word, will return these settings and give you the opportunity to choose your preferences. If you just type the word notification, this will also return settings relating to the templates that are sent in these particular events. Another key set of application settings relate to closure profiles, or closure categories as they're sometimes known. The settings here, among other things, allow you to enforce the last item in the category tree, i.e. select the maximum number of levels available and also allow you to choose whether or not the closure category should be a mandatory requirement. The final group of settings discussed in this video relate to the Hornbill portals, particularly the My Services landing page, i.e. the area where you experience all your services when you navigate to the Hornbill portals. By typing in the word portal into the filter, this will return all the relevant settings. The settings include the ability to adjust the icon size and pick from a range of standard sizes. In addition, you can choose the minimum number of icons that are shown when the customer first arrives at the service portal. I hope you found this short video useful, and while we've only covered a small percentage of the application settings provided by Service Manager, these are indeed the most common, and the ones we get asked most frequently about. If you have any further questions on any of the application settings, please visit the Hornbill forums at community.hornbill.com and either myself or another product specialist or Hornbill representative will be more than happy to discuss these further.